All right, today I want to show you guys how to create a portable Windows 11. I'm going to use the latest Windows 11 23H2. And if you don't understand what portable Windows 11 is, it's like when you install Windows 11 to a portable storage device like USB drive or portable SSD or portable HDD, you can carry that portable storage device with you wherever you go and you can boot Windows 11 from that portable device from any computer. If this sounds good, then let's begin. So there are many softwares which lets you create a portable Windows install. Uh, this feature is actually called Windows to go, which is no longer supported by Microsoft anymore. But still, there are third party softwares which lets you use the Windows to go feature. If you want to learn more about the Windows to go, you can always just go to Google and search for what is Windows to go. I know you guys are very smart. I don't need to explain anything. So here we have two softwares that I want to show you guys. Uh, there is this Rufus. Maybe you have heard about it. This is really popular software to make a bootable USB drive. But guess what? You can also use Windows to go feature. In this and there is uh, this another software really popular one it's called win to usb it's popular for creating a windows to go because they have you know premium plans if you get the premium plan you'll get the technical support and many other features so basically if you're into business and you want to create a portable windows then yeah for businesses it's also good like you know there is everything you need but if you're just like nerd who would just want to experiment or you know you just want to have a personal uh, portable windows install then yeah you don't need to upgrade it's only for businesses and only for those people who need support that's all right so actually uh, in rufus let me actually quickly show you how to uh, use rufus because today I actually want to use the Winter USB because I have always used Rufus. So basically in Rufus, uh, once you select the ISO file and your portable USB drive, like it could be a SSD. If you really want to use a portable Windows, then it's recommended to use like portable SSD or HDD. SSD is like recommended. Just for this demo, I'm just using a regular USB drive, which is going to perform really poorly because it's only 32 gigabytes. And you know, this is like really slow, but guess what? It will still work. So basically in Rufus, select your USB portable device and then select the ISO file. All right. I'm using the latest Windows 11 23H2 and then in image option, click on that, uh, select the Windows to go just like that and click on start. That's all you need to do. No confusion, no nothing. You just need to change this one setting and then it will actually install Windows 11 to that portable device. It won't create a bootable uh, USB drive. It will actually create a portable uh, Windows. All right now i just want to use this because i have actually used uh, rufus in the past but i never used win to usb so let's see if it's any better it can also create a bootable usb drive and also bootable win pe usb but the option that we are looking for is the windows to go all right we're going to select that option and then we're going to select the image file all right, which is the ISO file. Again, I'm using the latest Windows 11 23H2 and the targeted disk. I'm going to select the USB drive and it actually gives you a couple of options. I'm going to leave it as it is. It also supports BitLocker, but you'll need a premium plan for this. Since I'm just using it for personal use, I don't really need a BitLocker. So I'm just going to install it without a BitLocker because I don't need it and I'm going to click on proceed and it will give you the warning that it will format the portable device that you have selected in here. So if there is anything that needs to be saved from that device, save it and then come back here, click on yes. And it says formatting, please wait. And it also gives you the estimate time. Since this is a thumb drive, I'm pretty sure it's going to take a little while. So again, if you really want to use a portable Windows 11 for your personal or professional use, just get a 
uh, portable SSD. Yeah, it's it's gonna perform much better. You know, SSDs are really fast. So if you can, just get a portable SSD. Yeah, it says it's gonna take 16 minutes. So what do I do now? Just gonna wait, I guess. All right, almost there. 90, okay, 100%. It took me uh, 21 minutes. I think Rufus is much faster than this because as I said, I have used Rufus uh, before to create a uh, portable Windows 11 but it has more features and you'll get like technical support and many other features so that's why I, I wanted to use this so now it's time to boot it you can boot it from any computer just plug this portable device to any computer and open the BIOS for this demo I'm gonna use the virtual machine and I'm gonna boot this uh, portable Windows 11 in virtual machine so in here you can see I have the uh, USB device so that's the portable Windows 11 uh, USB drive so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna boot it so when you boot this portable Windows 11 for the first time uh, it will take some time plus it will do the setup and all that thing so it will also restart a couple of times once everything is done setting up and everything uh, it will boot normally it won't take that much time i'm just surprised that windows 11 is running from a thumb drive it's 32 gigabytes of thumb drive i'll show you once it's done i'll show you all the specs all right i don't need anything come on come on let's finish this faster <laughs> This is taking forever, like one after another option. Man, and I'm using a thumb drive. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Wow, my eyes are hurting. Like I'm sitting here from like almost <laughs> two hours now, one and a half hour to be exact, actually. <laughs> okay, time to show you guys the portable Windows 11. Okay. So first of all, it's really slow again, as I said, it's a thumb drive, but I'm surprised that this thing is running on a thumb drive. Okay, let me show you actually. <laughs> this is our C drive. Hey, okay, wait, <laughs> this, is, this is the main drive. Okay, local disk D is a, uh, another drive where uh, a f you know, normal Windows 11 is installed. Here, this is the thing. It says Windows to USB, you can see. This is the C drive. Right click, properties, and you can see it's uh, 28 gigabytes and 10 gigabytes is free. And this is where this Windows is installed. This is the portable Windows 11. Now I can take this drive anywhere I want and I can plug this thing on any computer and put it. Simple as that. Anything I do will be saved in here. Actually, Ah, look at that. How is this even possible? Let me actually open the task manager to see what's up. What's happening with the drive? <laughs> okay, it opened, it opened. It's slow. Again, I'm not complaining. It's, it's a thumb drive. <laughs> the maximum peak is 100 megabytes per second. But you can see it's, it's running. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you can see it's the jet flash transcend 32 gigabyte usb device you can see this is a usb device that's literally running uh, a windows 11. imagine if this was installed on portable ssd and i don't think i need to explain anything else but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too and actually let me show you here you can see i have the usb drive in my uh, main machine here and you can see it's the same drive this is the drive that we used uh, to boot and you can see 10 gigabyte free and it's the uh, jet flash transcend uh, 32 gigabyte usb device you can see and you can see in here we have all the windows things you know full windows installed so basically this is the portable windows 11 you can just unplug this device and you can just yeah i'm just talking too much i think at this point you guys already know what's up all right and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.